Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So there's this video by GQ that I've been seeing, 10 things that I can't live without. And I've been wanting to try that for a while. I sort of like film my own version. So I decided to film my own version of 10 things I can't live without. So the first thing on my list are my AirPods. These are very small, they're tiny, and they fit my pockets. Um, I like them because when you put them in your ears, they don't fall out, you know, contrary to what people say that if you put on AirPods, they fall out. No, these things don't fall out. Maybe it's the design of my ears, but they're amazing, they're small. Um, when I charge them, I get a lot of battery power and I get to listen to music for a long time. And one, one nifty trick I learned is I use one at a time so I can put one in my ears and finish using this. And then when the battery is down on that one, I put it back in and charge. And then I use this one, it makes it last long. So yeah, the first thing on my list, my AirPods. The next thing on my list is this. Well, a simple notebook. Um, but over the years, I'm used to using Moleskine notebooks. I bought a whole load of them. And this is the latest one that I'm using. And what I like about Moleskine notebooks is the design is consistent. You know what you're getting. The paper quality is the same. You can draw in them, you can write in them. They take all kinds of ink. Even sometimes I can even do some watercolor work in them. Um, they're amazing. They come with a strap and this so you remember where you last drew something or wrote something in the case where it is as thick as this one. So yes, my moleskin. I love moleskins and I can't live without them. Obviously, I carry them with a pen, which is not really an essential. So yeah. The next thing on my list is this. <laughs> it's basically a white t-shirt. I like white t-shirts because um, there's nothing like a newly washed fresh smelling white t-shirts. I wear them when I have to step out. I wear them when I'm at home. I wear them practically everywhere. And if I have to pack and I have to travel, those are the first things I throw into my, my bag. White t-shirt. The next on my list is my glasses. So I got this one from Retro by Tasha. These are my clear glasses. Um, those who really know me know that I wear, I wear glasses. Actually, everybody in my family wears glasses. So these are my medicated glasses. I got the frames from Retro by Tasha and I love them. Um, I know these are two different items, but I want to talk about these two. So when I'm not wearing my medicated glasses, I wear my sunglasses. And my favorite pair is from T. Michael, a Ghanaian designer based in Norway. So I love these because, because they're expensive. No, I didn't buy them, I got them as a gift. I love these because they come in this nice, leather case with the inscription on it and then they come the glasses come in this and there's a cleaner a little cloth that you can use to clean your glasses so yeah these are my t michaels they're called the four eyes what do you think <laughs> yeah so these are my favorite sunglasses. Um, so usually I'll, I'll carry this and I'll carry this along because then I'm going to meetings and I'll wear this. But then when you step out, the sun is hot, you wear these. Next on my list is my wallet. And yes, my wallet is round. It's from the same designer, T. Michael. So it's literally a pebble um, kind of leather black and it's round and it has two slots. There's a slot for cards I put my cards here and I put a little cash here. This I think is very, it's very different. I mean, when you have to give someone a call card or something and you take out a round wallet, they ask, hey, what is this? <laughs> and I think it's really interesting. So this is something I can't live without. I lost my first one. My first one was brown vintage leather, which I'd used over years and was worn in. But accidentally I lost it. So I got another one from him, which is this. And since we're talking about T. Michael, I also want to talk about my next essential, which I love which is this bag from T. Michael. It's also in the same kind of leather as, as the wallet. And it has like a magnetic grip here. So you open it, um, it has space inside. And sometimes this carries my laptop. I mean, my laptop is an essential, but everybody uses a laptop. So I didn't think I'd put it here, but, but this carries my laptop too, because then when you open it up like this, you close it, it opens up, and it becomes a pouch. 
and this is like a portfolio that you can put in stuff your laptop and stuff like that if you're going for a meeting and it really really works well so this is another essential of mine hmm. This fragrance is amazing. It smells very masculine, very mature, very leathery. It still has like a base of woody notes, but it's very sweet at the same time. So you could see that Umbra Leather is more for the, the younger man or the, 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 the man who's young at heart, you know? I love this fragrance. So usually what I do is I carry this with my fragrance. Um, it's just a little bottle I got from a friend's shop, House of Accessories. And it's a pump, so you pump, you put it on top of the fragrance, you pump it in, and then you can have your own little nifty carry around. Um, you know, so you don't have to carry a whole bottle around. So I just added this. The next essential is this. It's a bergamot scented essential oil from Bath & Body Works. I love this because um, the time that I work late and the time that I stress and I need to sleep and sometimes, you know, when you're younger, you take for granted what sleep, how important sleep is, but I've come to understand that sleep is very important. So this is one of the things that I, I have by my bedside and I actually carry along anytime I'm traveling. So basically what you do is you just spray this on your pillow or you spray this on your face and you breathe in deeply and trust me, it works like magic. It can it really, really relaxes you. Um, I don't care what's in it, but I know it works for me. So yeah, this. I love candles. This one is a white barn candle, mahogany teak wood, high intensity scented candle made with essential oils. So basically, before I sleep, no matter where I am, this is an essential. You just light this for like, say, 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes and then you can put it off and then the scent takes over the entire room and this smells amazing so yeah i love candles and this is my favorite candle right now i like the color it feels masculine and i like the fact that it's glass so the last essential on my list is this hand sanitizer um in times like this you know the hand sanitizers have become very very important and it keeps us safe from the dreaded COVID-19 or coronavirus. So this is something that has become an essential in, in my life. Um, but, but this is from Bath & Body Works. It's a very small one. I like, the, I like the shape. I like the color. It feels masculine. You can throw this in your bag. And it's, it's small, it's nifty. You can throw it in your bag. And you're good to go. So yes, these are my essentials that I I, th I think I can live without. If you like this video, please click the like button, subscribe to this channel, put on the notification bell, and I'll promise to bring you more content on men's lifestyle, on creativity, and on film. Thank you for watching. See you soon.